what should I take to the interview? You do want to take a copy of your resume, carry a briefcase, suitcase, you probably have some other bits and pieces, incidentals, if you've travelled for the interview. You may want to take a portfolio of work if it's directly relevant to the activity. You may want to bring an example of your physical work if it's directly relevant to the interview you're in. Again, it's another way of standing out from the crowd. Now, when you're at the interview, have a small manila folder with your resume in it, have it handy, you can have it on the table, have a pen. Here is one thing to do, is have all that information either directly accessible by your side, or if you've got it on the desk, put it to one side. Here is why. It is so tempting when we're in an interview to fidget. Our nerves will come out, and if you've got something in front of yourself to play with, you'll often go and do it, and you won't even realise it. So it's there as reference material if it's needed, and you get it out of the way so that you can focus on making eye contact with the interview panel, all of them, to the side, look to the side, and you haven't got the temptation to fiddle or fidget. That's something we want to be able to avoid completely. It distracts the interviewer, makes us appear nervous. We want to be clear, calm, confident, and project competence in all of these conversations. Hi, I'm Jason Furness, and I've just finished recording a series of 20 free videos with secrets about how to go about getting the job you deserve, how the industry works, how to present yourself for interview. All you have to do is go to www.howtogetthejobideserve.com and sign up now. I ask for your email address so I can stay in contact with you. You can unsubscribe at any time. But go to www.howtogetthejobideserve.com and sign up now.